everybody? It's Kyle Miranda here, Hitching and Fishing. We're hey. gonna do a, another campsite review for you. Uh, it's been a while since we've done one. We've been so busy fishing. Uh, and we got a new member of the family back there sneezing. This is Marshall. If you haven't met Marshall yet, this is Marshall. He's an eight, going on nine month old uh, Malty Poo Poo. And we adopted him like a week ago. And he loves Miranda to death and likes boats so far and fishing. So he's going to be in a lot of our new videos. So this is Marshall. He's a good boy. We like our Marshall. He's a really good boy. Anyway, on to the review. So the review of this one's going to be back when we stayed in Florida where we had the event on Kissimmee. This is the East Toho uh, RV Resort Marina. Uh, they got a little bit of everything there. So just first and foremost, uh, we want to talk to you guys a little bit about what you see when you drive in so you'll be driving in you'll turn off the main road you'll come down this long access road and then you'll make a left and you'll turn into the park and when you get there uh, you're gonna look to your left and you'll see the check-in office where you check in to the right there's a big boat ramp big parking lot area big wide open feel and so we really liked the the feel for it when you get in we went inside the shop uh, there was a lot of cool stuff in there little bar tops and some taxidermy gators and stuff and and this is the big boat ramp. So if you want to fish East Toho, this is not the Big Lake Toho where the tournament was, but this is the East Lake Toho. They got a nice ramp there. They got gator tours. Uh, you take a bass guide. And then when you get to the front of the campsite, this area we got circled in red here, uh, they were doing a lot of improvements there. And that area had some nice pull through sites that they were being improved. And you can see now these are pictures after we've been there. And so they've com they finished their improvements. Think so. And they look really, really good online. Those are pictures from their website. Uh, and so they've got one big pond here. This is the big west pond. Uh, and then at the back, there's another smaller pond. But once you start to navigate your way into it, um, it starts to get really tight and compacted. You can kind of see this is still out towards the front. But once you start to enter those roads you see there, um, it gets tight. Uh, all the street names are named after fish, which is fun. Uh, and these are what the roads in and out of there look like in that back part. And so it's really beautiful, but you can imagine, depending on the size of your camper, uh, it's kind of narrow, tight roads. And unfortunately for us, we came in at 3 in the morning in the middle of the night through these roads. And in the daylight, you can kind of see your obstacles better. But at 3 in the morning, um, we could not see the obstacles as well. And I was pulling the boat, and this tree right here on the right is the one that unfortunately... Right there clipped our camper. Uh, of course, you're not going to be able to see the tree over the top of your head in the dark. Here's some pictures of our unfortunate occurrence. Miranda was really sad. Nothing she could have done about it. It just happened. So be careful if you go there in the middle of the night. Highly recommend going there during the daytime. They've got beautiful covered picnic area here. Uh, if you just want to get away and get kind of over there by the little river that feeds into it. They do have a dog park. A big laundry facility, huge tons of washer and dryers. The most I've seen at any campground or RV park. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. You did a bunch of laundry. In fact, you did so much laundry, you went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> the pool's currently closed. They're renovating. The landscaping looks nice. There she is. Wow, look at what they did in the pool. Yeah, so, it's gonna be nice. Yeah, the pool's nice. You spent a lot of time over here kind of by this other pond that was on the east end of the property. Yeah, tons of birds. I'm gonna read my Bible, hang out with Duck. You got a buddy. Yeah. See him right there? Have a buddy. Good morning, Duck. Good morning, Duck. He stalked me. I didn't come prepared to feed him. I don't know if he's I'm good sorry. looking or ugly. <laughs> Those are your favorites. That was neat. Say no cranes. Lots of gators and snakes. You'll see that sign. So, I mean, I want to take your small animals down there. Overall, uh, these we try to break down and give you guys our favorites takeaways from the East Toho. Uh, Miranda loved those live oak trees, but at the same time, she probably didn't love the one that we hit. No, just don't go into this RV park at night when it's pitch black outside because it's not lit up. So you're not going to see if a tree looks straight you know as you're going by but then it has these overhanging limbs and uh just don't don't go in late at night don't make sure that. there's daylight yep i agree and then the large laundry facility saw that that's yeah. a big bonus you don't always have that sometimes you have little facilities with just a couple dryers a couple fighting washers. over a washer and dryer so that was nice yep 
Uh, also, the laundry facility was right by the pond and there was a picnic table right there. So I took a journal out there while my laundry was going. I could sit by the pond, watch the ducks. There was a little alligator out there, all kinds of birds. It was, that was nice. Yeah. And then the pool, you know, that is one of our favorites. Obviously, we didn't get to enjoy that, but looking yeah. at how much they've improved it. Randall likes having a nice pool. Yeah. And uh, so that one has it now and it's ready for you to swim. Uh, we always want to talk about water pressure. Sometimes water pressure is a thing when you're camping. This had good water pressure. Yeah. It did have a few times where the water just shut off completely. Mm -hmm. um, uh, of course, they were doing construction and renovation, so we don't know if they needed that water pressure to do something. We Maybe. don't know what happened there. Yeah. Um, but when we did have water, um, it had really good pressure. And of course, they were 50 amp hookups, full hookups. Mm -hmm. um, we had 110 to charge the boat. Um, we do want to talk about some things we would change. And so when we got there, uh, this first item reservation issues, we got there at three in the morning. We talked to them the day before and I asked, is there anything we need to know? We've never been there. They didn't give us any heads up on the narrow roads or coming in at night. But when we got to our spot, there was someone camping in it, like asleep three in the morning. I'm not gonna go knock on their door, but I have no idea where to go. Miranda just hit the tree and it's all happened at the same time. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, hopefully they got that squared away. They were changing hands. It was like Boggy Creek Resort or yeah. something like that. And so maybe that was the problem. But nevertheless, the site we booked was inhabited when we got there. <laughs> and we had to wander around those those uh, narrow roads and we found a spot and we just claimed it so we could sleep. And then we got the next morning, got squared away. We ended up getting to stay there and it had more room. So we kind of liked where we got to be. I had plenty of room for the boat. And then as Miranda mentioned, uh, you know, it needs more lights at night. So that item two and three there with the tight windy roads, Definitely. there's really hardly any lights. Now they may have put those in since we left because they were renovating and they've obviously done a lot of uh, improvements. I don't know if those are there, but having some more lights at night is a double-edged sword. If you're camping right next to one, you may hate it because it may light up your window, but most of these uh, campers have draw shades and you can block out the light. So those would be the few things that we would change. All in all, we go back, uh, you learn from your mistakes. We wouldn't go back in the middle of the night. Or you can get some of those sites at the front. Uh, they may cost a little bit more, but you got water view, uh, they're improved, they're pulled through, they're a lot more spacious up there at the front. So if you're worried about that and you have a big camper, consider booking those sites towards the south end or towards the front. Um, and that's all I got. You got anything for them? I mean, is there anything I, I'm missing? I would definitely go back. It's beautiful. Um, if you can go for walks through the campground. It's nice. There's lots of flora. It's very tropical vibe to it. So I would definitely go back for that reason and the new pool that they updated. Yeah, yeah I think we got it all. So hope that helps you guys. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Hitch, hitching and fishing. Bye. Bye. Oh, bye, Marshall. Oh, come here, Marshall. He's chewing. Bye. bye.